here and just got home and they were we were out on a walk so they would um, have a nap earlier and they're still kind of tired so here's Liam on the top and Lucille's in here all covered up laying down that's why Liam's on the top but um they need to have something to eat and a diaper change and get in their pajamas and go to bed. So this is going to be like a night routine video. And they don't have a bath every night, but since they went swimming today, I thought it would be good to give them a bath. So I'm gonna get them out and get started. All right guys, so I'm going to, I don't know what it's, oh, okay, it was pretty blurry. So I need, I'm going to get started with giving them um, a bath and so I need to get them undressed. I'm not going to video them in the bath because that's very messy but I'll video them getting out of their like clothes I suppose. And I will video them after the bath too but after I've dried them off because they always get very upset when they're wet. That's, gotta get Lucille's diaper off, and now she's all set for the bath. Now let's get Liam. Gotta get his shirt off. And I have, like, a My Baby All Gone baby, and I want to get her. She's in my attic, and I want to get her because she can be, like, a toddler sister to them. So I just might do that. And when I do, she'll be great. Oh, I cannot seem to get his day off. Hold on a moment. He got Seal's leg or something. His day is stuck really good. So that's no good. Um, what is going on with your day for video? I don't want to have to cut it. Okay. Yeah, you can tell he's a boy, and if you're not comfortable with that, um, I'll just go like that. No, anyway, it's just a doll, so it doesn't really matter. So there they are, and I'm going to go give them a bath, and look at them. When they're next to each other like this, you can barely even tell who's who, especially when you go like that and just cut off like the bottom parts. <laughs> My little pals. I'm going to go give them a bath, and we'll be back, and they'll probably be just like this, because I'm going to dress them for you. All right, so they're done with their baths, and I'm going to put them back in their diapers. I actually need to go into the diaper bag and get out. This is their tape for their diapers. And I need to get my baby powder. Here it is, baby lotion. It's not real, it's just to pretend, but it's good for, like, role play, I guess. So we're going to do Lucille first because she hates being around without, like, a diaper or anything else. So this is her diaper. Oh, I got some tape on me. Lift her up. I usually do this with two hands. So now we'll put the diaper down first. Let's stick her on it and pull her up. Okay, so it's difficult with one hand. I'm gonna get some tape. Taper sides down because I need both hands to do that. And I want her to have a good diaper. There. So now she's in her cute little diaper, and I'm not putting her shirt on because we need to get them in their pajamas. I'm sorry, I was covering the camera. I do that sometimes. So I'm going to do Liam. I'm just going to put down his diaper and plop him on it. He doesn't mind being in his without his diaper. He likes running around without anything on, really. He likes to be free. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, you don't have to see this. I'm just taping his diaper down. Same as what I did to Lucille. I 
need to get a diaper refill pack because I've been reusing the diapers and like putting tape on them and everything. So yeah. Um, the reason I'm not putting their shirts back on right now is, oh, let me put my lotion and stuff away, is because they need to eat. <clears throat> so here's their bibs. I'm going to put them on this one, Liam's. I'll show you what it looks like once it's on. I'm sorry about the really bad filming right now. Let me just get these on them first. Okay. His is like clouds and hers is like a giraffe. I came with my, ba my baby all gone. <laughs> so yeah, um, since like they don't have like any diapers, I don't usually um, feed them very often because I have to just reuse their diapers. So um, I'm gonna like pretend to feed them, but I'm gonna do that off camera because I might do that for a while. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the twins into their pajamas. For Liam, he has these, like, lamb ones. They're really cute and soft. And for Lucille, these little heart ones. Lucille has a lot of pajamas. It's always hard to pick out a pair for her. She looks chilly, so I'm going to get her into hers first. And I'm actually going to get a book again, so you can see her. I need a book in my swimming video, so it's just a Harry Potter book. I always choose the Harry Potter books because they're thick. So if you're wondering why that's always my book of choice, it's because they're thick. <laughs> they're very quiet, and that's good because they're winding down. They just have nice hot bottles, so they get tired. And I changed them without clothes on so they wouldn't, like, get food all over themselves. I mean, fed them. With I think I said fed, but I might have said changed. So, I don't know. I need to find her um, slippers because she really likes to sleep with her slippers on. And I tried to find them for her when I was picking out her pajamas, but I just didn't see them. And I'm like going through her clothes right now. I found one of Liam's little slippers, but I'm not seeing hers. I found a pair of Liam's pants in Lucille's clothes section because they have two separate little spots. I found one of hers. Oh, that's Liam's spot. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry about that. My brother uh, was knocking on my door because my cat wanted to come in. Oh, one of my cats. So he's... Oh, I found the other slipper. Or is this the first one still? Probably. So. Yeah, it's still the first one. I don't know why I'm doing trying to find slippers. I don't know, but her slippers are really cute. I hope I didn't lose the other one. <laughs> well, um, let me show you. This is her slippers. It's a bear. And Liam's are just these little white things. I gotta find Lucille's other slipper. I thought I had it. I don't think I did. I'm gonna find that. Okay, so I found the other slipper, and I'm gonna scooch this up. So you can see me put on her little bear slippers on her little feet. They're adorable. She's going to wear a, um, the, the pajamas that actually came with that, which are, it's a nightie. It's right here. It's really cute. It's baby alive. But, um, I decided not to because Liam was going to be in, like, a little sleeper thing. So she looks really tired and really cute. And now we're going to do Liam. I'm going to pull him back down so you can see him. We're going to stick his little lammy ones on. He has a few too, but not as many not as many pairs as Lucille. He doesn't have very summery pajamas, so i got to figure that out. They make a bunch of, like, clothes for baby labs, but none for boys, because these are made in 2006, and he's the only boy, so I guess maybe they just didn't like the boys if they only made one. I really like him, so I think they should make more boys, because... They're, it's fun because babies aren't all just girls. and I think Baby Alive should make boys and girls. Just how they make like a bunch of different skin colors and hair colors. It would be very nice if they made boys and girls in all of them. And in all the skin colors and hair colors. And stuff like that. Let's give him his pacifier. Alright. Oh, look at them. Two peas in a pod. Adorable. Okay. I'm going to get their little blankies. 
Okay, so this is Lucille's little bear blankie, and that's Liam's, and that actually came with the slippers and nighty I showed you that Lucille had. And I'm going to show you how I wrap them up in their blankets for bedtime. And I'm going to show you Lucille first. So, you just, the first thing you need is a blanket. And, um, depending on the size of your baby, depends on the size blanket you want to use. So, it's really big, but I folded it up twice. So it's like this, and I'm going to take this corner that's like at the very edge and fold it down, about halfway. And then you want to take your baby and put her head at the very tip. Just lay her feet down. You can even pull her up a little. Yeah, I'm going to pull her up so it's like at her neck. Put down their arms. So I'm going to pull this side over and pull up the feet. And then pull the other side over, and then she's all swallowed. Isn't that cute? And now I'm going to stick her into the carriage. And I'm going to show you what I do. Hold on. I'm going to get her in because I need both arms. And then I always just strap her feet in. I don't want to strap her head because I don't want to strangle her. But yeah, now she's in there. And I can just fold that down. And I take... Whoop, that's my cat mittens. And we just take an extra blanket and throw it over her. But I'm going to set Liam up too. So he has an even bigger blanket than her, and his is not doesn't make a perfect square. So his is kind of oddly shaped, but I can still work with it. So his is like a big rectangle right now, still folded into fourths, I think. I'm going to fold down a little corner. I'm trying to make a video here, Mittens. She wants all the attention. Which reminds me of Little X loves cats. Okay, so I'm going to fold up the side again. Fold up the center and fold up the side. And I learned how to do this from Little X Loves. Oops. I just hit him with my little unicorn. I'll show you what I need in a minute. Just have to get him in. And where are the straps? He's sitting on them. You gotta protect the baby. Protect the baby. Alright, let me um, set this down so I can buckle him in. So there he is, and there she is, and there she is, and I was talking about this little unicorn that you saw in one of my other videos. So now I'm going to show you how I, like, close up, like, put her to sleep in the carriage. So I think that's a good enough angle. Oh, oh. Um, I think that'll work. I, I can't really see. Hello. Not the carriage here. I'm going to take this blanket and unfold it, and the long way is how I want it. Put it, like, right over the hood, and I pull mine down through the handle, just so it'll cover up the back. And then once your hood flips, you pull it out. You just want it to, like, cover all around, so you just got to adjust it. It's really up to you how it looks. This is just the way I do it. Let me show you what it looks like. You didn't see that. So there's a little opening there, which I don't really like. So I try to make it look like the baby's like covered completely so she can sleep. You really don't want any light coming in from the back. I don't know why. But I need to get like a blanket thingy to go over this. Oh, well, that'll work. Okay, so I've covered it up pretty well. So where's this? enough, yeah. And then for Liam, I just throw him on top. He doesn't get like a blanket over him, but it's really cute. So yeah, that was on my Baby Alive's night routine, and I'm going to put them to sleep now. So, we can say goodbye. We're saying goodbye, because they are going to go to sleep. So, thank you guys so much for watching this role play video. This was role play. Um, please like and subscribe. Sorry, I love my cat. And <laughs> let us know in the comments if you think I should do any more routine videos. Like, maybe on a weekend I can do a morning routine. Or, like, a day in the life. So, yeah. We will uh, see you guys later. Bye, Mins. Mins, say bye. She loves to play in those trash bags. Say bye.
Alright, bye.